Hi, welcome back to my studio. Today we're going to talk about the personality of color. Now we already know based on the color wheel that we have warm and cool colors and warm colors are aggressive and cool colors tend to recede. But did you know that color has more personality than that? And basically um, advertisers and people who use color to persuade people about certain products and things um, know this and they use these colors effectively to help persuade people in the way that they want to, them to be persuaded. So let's first talk about the color red. Now red is a very aggressive color. We know based on where it is on the color wheel that it's a warm color, so it is aggressive. It's sort of the color of passion, um, the color of speed. You know, we talk about red cars, and you know, red cars seem to go faster than cars that are another color. Um, but that is the, the positive side of red. Now red can also mean on the negative side or on the other side, danger or anger. They usually say not to paint a uh, teenage boy's room red because of the um, aggressive nature and the anger that can be um, because of the red. Um, here is a stop sign, of course, also in red because it is um, a sign of danger. Uh, the color green, let's use green. Green is the color of nature and of course a lot of environmental movements will use green to uh, help persuade people about their, uh, about their particular movements. It's also the, the, the color of health. Um, it's a very vibrant and uh, health, it's about living. Um, it also is the color of money, okay? okay, so money and power. Now on the negative side, it can also mean toxicity or illness. And have you ever heard the comment, he looks a little green? That comes from um, the fact that green in a negative sense can mean toxicity or illness. Uh, the color blue. Blue, of course, we know is on the cool side of the color wheel. It is a, a calming color. It recedes. It is also the color of clarity and elegance, so we can use uh, uh, blue for elegance. On the negative side, it is a color that resembles or it, it leads to boredom or shows sadness. It turns out Picasso had a, had a period where he was doing um, his pieces, they all had a cast of blue and he evidently had a friend, a close friend who had passed away and so for a couple of years his pieces showed his sadness because of the blue. Um, blue is also also um, suppresses the appetite so whereas we could have used um, red uh, as a plate to show um, to be uh, show something that's appetizing um, blue is the opposite blue um, doesn't uh, suppresses appetite so we probably wouldn't want to have blue plates okay yellow yellow is of course a very happy energetic color um, there are canaries that are in yellow of course um, so um, this color is very youthful and energetic. Uh, this color on the negative, negative side, however, can be very um, eye taxing or power, it's very powerful or fatiguing to the eye. So sometimes in, in very, very big amounts, yellow um, can be a little overwhelming. Purple, purple of course is the sign of, of elegance, royalty, um, luxury and it can mean the fanciful and dreams. It turns out uh, purple is a very popular color for women um, and also teenagers. Teenagers really like purple. The negative side of purple can mean something like um, nightmares or um, very bad dreams or even craziness. So you see how we can start using these colors to um, help tell our story. Uh, the last one is orange and orange is very youthful and exciting, energetic, it shows creativity and um, it can be used to obviously promote um, products uh, for creativity, art products. Um, the negative side of course it can also mean a lack of quality or maybe a sort of cheapness. So you see how we can use these colors. Um, these colors, I, I feel like they are adjectives, as if we were writing a story. We use adjectives to describe the character. And we can use these colors then in our quilts to help describe um, the character of um, what we're trying to portray. So if we're trying to show something that is very passionate and uh, loving, red would be a good color to use. If we're trying to show something that is uh, portrays you know, craziness or nightmare, per, uh, nightmares, purple might be a great color to use. Um, so your project for today in your PDF download is to take your favorite 
quilt block, possibly a, a traditional quilt block, and to try and portray the two different, um, the negative side and the positive side of a particular color. So if we chose red, maybe one would, uh, we would show uh, its passion and its love, uh, its showing love, and on the negative side, maybe um, anger and, um, and danger. Uh, so that's your project, and join me next time because we're going to be talking about the color shift.